My name is Jeff Elam, and I'm a senior chemist at Argonne National Laboratory, and I'd like to tell you about technology that we've developed at Argonne for functionalizing membranes. So membranes are used in a wide variety of applications, and one of the primary applications is to filter contaminants from water. These water filtration membranes are made from polymers, and one of the disadvantages is that organic pollutants and other uh, organic materials in the water can stick to these, uh, to these polymer membranes and cause them to clog. So there are a variety of ways to try to mitigate this fouling problem, but many of them have the disadvantage that they will, can also change the porosity of the membrane, which is a necessary uh, component for its functioning. So the ideal uh, solution to this fouling problem would be a surface treatment that can change the chemical functionality of the surface without changing the porosity. So the technique that we've developed is called sequential Inf infiltration synthesis, or SIS. It's a, a, a process that uses gas phase uh, chemical treatments to infiltrate the polymer material and change its surface properties without altering its porosity. And on the left-hand side, you can see that after we've done this SIS treatment, the porosity is preserved in this membrane. So what we've done then is to take this hydrophobic membrane and apply a hydrophilic surface treatment to it and that allows it to resist fouling by organic contaminants in the water. And you can see that we're able to uh, filter out organic contaminants uh, time and time again without having the membrane foul. Another application for our SIS technology is to create Janus membranes. Janus membranes have a different chemical functionality on the front face versus the back face. And as a result, they can, it can impart uh, some special kinds of properties, including ion selectivity. So what we've done in this example is we've done SIS to provide a, a hydrophilic uh, surface treatment only on one side of a polymer membrane. And the result of this is that when we pass air bubbles through this membrane, the bubbles are much smaller uh, compared to the membrane in its uncoated state. And this has important implications for aeration type applications. Now, in addition to changing the hydrophobic hydrophilic properties of membranes using these surface treatments, we can also impart catalytic properties. So, it's important to have uh, catalytically active membranes if you want to try to degrade organic pollutants in the water. And one way to do this is to use titanium dioxide, TiO2, which is the main ingredient of white paint. TiO2 is an excellent photocatalyst. However, it only operates under ultraviolet illumination. And because ultraviolet illumination is, can be expensive to produce, the, the, it would be desirable if we could impart these same photocatalytic properties, but to have the membrane active in visible light from the sun. So we've created a coating which, which imparts these properties. And as you can see in the graph on the left side, the, this coating makes the membrane much more absorptive of visible light and gives it a yellowish, yellowish appearance. At the same time, we maintain those photocatalytic properties so that when we apply this coating, the rate of decomposition of the pollutants under visible sunlight is much, is much greater. The functional coatings group at Argonne is pursuing a wide variety of applications for this SIS technology. These range from water treatment to microelectronics. We have a great deal of expertise in both developing new processes, pursuing applications for those processes, and doing uh, the scale up. And we're looking for commercial partners to help us commercialize this.